We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Structure activity relationship that is SAR of parasympathomimetics. Parasympathomimetics means we will see the SAR of acetylcholine. So, necessity to design compounds that would serve as therapeutic alternative to acetylcholine results in structure activity relationship. That means how SAR of acetylcholine is discovered. That is because of the, our necessity to design compounds which are similar or alternative to acetylcholine because you know acetylcholine has some limitations so we want to discover some alternatives to acetylcholine this is the structure of acetylcholine for understanding the SAR we will divide the structure of acetylcholine into three parts First, we'll assign alpha and beta carbons. First part is quaternary ammonium group. Next part is CH2CH2 group that is called as ethylene group. And third one is acyl oxy group. First, we will see the modification of quaternary ammonium group that is NCH3 trice. So, first is replacement of the nitrogen atom by arsenic, phosphorus, or sulfur atom results in less activity. This nitrogen is replaced by arsenic, phosphorus, or sulfur, it gives less activity. From that, it is concluded that positively charged nitrogen atom is required for appreciable muscarinic activity. Next point is replacement of all the three methyl groups by ethyl groups result in cholinergic antagonistic activity. See here, replacement of all the three methyl groups on quaternary ammonium group. by three ethyl groups result in antagonistic activity. Next point is replacement of all the three methyl groups by alkyl groups larger than the ethyl results in loss of activity. All the three methyl groups replaced by larger than ethyl means propyl, butyl, pentyl and so on that results in loss of activity. Next point is replacement of any one methyl group by ethyl or propyl group result in much less activity than acetylcholine. So out of the three methyl groups, replacement of any one methyl group by ethyl or propyl group results in much less activity. Next is successive replacement of 1, 2 and 3 methyl groups by hydrogen results in successively decreasing the muscarinic activity. Successive replacement that means if we replace one by one methyl groups by hydrogen, one methyl is replaced by hydrogen, two methyl groups are replaced by hydrogen, three methyl groups are replaced by hydrogen, so that activity is decreasing successively. 
means from this compound this compound has less activity this compound has again less activity and this compound is least active next is modification of ethylene groups means ch2 ch2 carbons by increasing the length of ethylene chain activity was rapidly reduced now this is ch2 ch2 if we are increasing the length of it means from ch2 ch2 if we are doing ch2 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 means from ethylene it is propylene then butylene in this way we are increasing the length of the ethylene chain activity was rapidly reduced then propentylene and so on this observation lead into postulate this rule of 5 from this observation the scientist ing has given his rule of what is rule of 5 there should not be more than 5 atoms between the nitrogen atom and terminal hydrogen atom for maximum muscarinic activity now we underst understand by looking the structure of acetylcholine I have shown the structure of acetylcholine in expanded view now what does this rule say there should not be more than 5 atoms between nitrogen atom and terminal hydrogen so nitrogen atom means this nitrogen atom terminal hydrogen atom means this is the terminal hydrogen atom means end of the one between these two atoms there should not be more than five atoms should not be more than five so these are one two three four five atoms five atoms are perfect for maximum activity if it is more than five then activity decreases Next point introduction of methyl group at alpha carbonoethylene group results in alpha methyl acetylcholine. So, at alpha carbon, if we are introducing methyl group, the new compound is discovered that is alpha methyl acetylcholine. It has reduced activity at both muscanic and nicotinic receptors than acetylcholine but exhibit greater nicotine nicotinic receptor selectivity than muscarinic receptors what does this sentence mean it will understand i am showing here muscarinic activity and nicotinic activity acetylcholine has equal muscarinic and nicotinic activity alpha methyl acetylcholine has reduced activity at both the receptors here it is reduced activity at both the receptors but exhibit greater nicotinic receptor selectivity out of these two nicotinic receptor selectivity is greater than muscarinic receptors Now, next point is introduction of methyl group. A beta carbon of ethylene group results in beta methyl acetylcholine that is called as methacholine. Here, methyl group is introduced at beta carbon. It has muscarinic activity that is similar to that of acetylcholine but has much less nicotinic effect than that of acetylcholine. So, we will understand this sentence again we will understand by this graph acetylcholine has similar activity at both the receptors while beta methyl acetylcholine methacholine has muscanic activity almost equivalent so muscanic activity is similar to that of acetylcholine but 
much less nicotinic effect than that of acetylcholine so nicotinic effect is very less so this compound becomes muscarinic selective agonist now in methacholine by introducing the methyl group this beta carbon now becomes chiral so it's so stereochemistry and muscan receptors display stereoselectivity that means the one of the isomer of methacholine that is s plus isomer and another isomer is r minus methacholine s plus methacholine is equivalent with acetylcholine means it has similar activity that of acetylcholine but R minus methacholine so 24 less means 20 times less activity than acetylcholine. Now the last part is modification of acyloxy group that is CH3COO group as would be predicted by the rule of 5 when acetyl group is replaced by its higher homologs it is propionyl, butyryl, etc. The resulting compounds are less potent than acetylcholine. If acetyl group is replaced by propionyl group and if it is replaced by butyryl group, that is CH3CH2CO group, CH3CH2CH2CO group, in both the case activity is less than acetylcholine this is again based on the rule of 5 so i am showing here both the structures in expanded forms now based on the rule of 5 in both the structures between nitrogen and terminal hydrogen nitrogen and terminal hydrogens the number of atoms are more than 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 here it is 6 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 it is 7 so based on rule of 5 it should not be more than 5 atoms here in both the structures there are more than 5 atoms so there is less activity next point is polyne esters of aromatic or higher molecular weight acids possess polynergic antagonistic activity so acetylcholine is polyne ester in that acetic acid group this is if it is here ch3co then it is called as acetic acid ester of polyne in that instead of acetic acid we have to replace aromatic or higher molecular weight acids so if we are introducing here aromatic ring that is called as polyne esters of aromatic acids and if we are introducing here bulky groups then it is called as polyne ester of higher molecular weight acids by bulky group the molecular weight is increased so in both the case it gives antagonistic activity next point replacement of methyl group of acetyl group by amino group results in carbamic acid ester of choline that is called as carbacol means replacement of methyl group of acyloxy group by amino group so now it is instead of acetic acid ester now it is carbamic acid ester and it is given the name carbacol it is equivalent with acetylcholine both the muscarinic and nicotine receptors equipotent means it is equally active but is less readily hydrolyzed by gastric acid acetylcholine esterase or butyrylcholine esterase than acetylcholine so carbacol has similar activity to acetylcholine but the main advantage is that it is less readily hydrolyzed so the carbacol 
can be given orally. The disadvantage with acid alkaline is that it is rapidly inactivated by this esterase enzyme and gastric acid, so acid alkaline cannot be given orally. Even acid alkaline cannot be given parenterally, but this carbacol compound can be given orally because it is less readily hydrolyzed because of the presence of amino group. So it can be administered orally. The same modification was then done in methacholine which results in bethanacol means in methacholine same modification means the replacement of methyl by amino group replacement of methyl by amino group this gives bethanacol so bethanacol is orally effective potent muscarinic agonist with less nicotinic activity Bethanacol has both the advantage, it has beta methyl group, so it has selective muscarinic agonist and instead of methyl group here, it has amino group, so it is less readily hydrolyzed, so it is orally given and potent muscarinic agonist, so nicotinic side effects are less with Bethanacol. Next point, replacement of oxy group by sulfur reduces the activity this oxy oxy group a replacement of oxy by sulfur by sulfur reduces the activity this is because involvement of oxy group in H bonding between drug and receptor it suggests that oxygen atom is required to make hydrogen bond with receptor while sulfur has less ability sulfur has less ability to form H bonding with the receptor. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is the SAR of acetylcholine.